whenever I wake up, I just really don't know what to expect. So would, there could be a screaming toddler. I like to sleep in, and so sometimes my children wake up before me. So that means my personal time is later, and so I'm usually scrambling to make sure their needs are met. If someone was going to look in on my not so best day, it would probably involve yoga pants. Uh, my hair is not done. <laughs> my kids probably woke up around 11 um, and fed themselves. <laughs> During this time, um, it has been challenging. While I am reading and praying and spending that time with God, I've noticed lately that I need a little bit more time. <laughs> I'm tired all the time. I'm mentally tired, uh, physically tired. It's hard sometimes because you feel like you have to always be um, guiding and directing and teaching. I'm on a video call. My child is knocking on the door of my office trying to get an answer, an answer, an answer, and I'm trying to wave them off, but yet still look professional. And it turns out the only question was, where's the toilet paper? I'm not around anybody else during the day, so it's just me and my family all day long. And you know, you're not as patient as what you would be with other people as you are with your family. <laughs> Spiritually, I'm doing the best I can to just connect with God every day, but that's getting more and more challenging. It's like having multiple voices in my head, but they actually all have faces. I don't feel like I'm just managing my life. I feel like I'm managing other people's lives at the exact same time, every moment of the day. What I call treadmill cleaning, where you like literally clean and clean and clean and clean all day long. And then at the end of the day, it's still not clean. I'll respond. Um, with a look or I'll say something that I didn't mean to say um, just out of um, impatience. Being the only child, it's me and my husband and those are his playmates. <laughs> so there are times when you're just like, I really don't wanna play another thing with Legos or no, I really don't wanna play Monopoly right now. How sometimes mommy just needs a minute cause mommy is a person too. <laughs> I feel frustrated that I am not giving them enough good experiences at this time to counteract all the bad that is happening outside our home. Okay. Come on, putting those headphones on. What you love about your mommy? I love giving hugs and kisses. You love hugs and kisses? Do you love hugs and kisses too? Yeah. Do you love your mommy? I love my mommy. Um, I love mommy because she's really sweet and she helps me with Girl Scouts and she's really creative and what makes her special is she never stops loving people. The first reason mommy's a good mom is that she always gives grace and she's kind, smart, funny, and loving. She gives presents to Amy. She's special. <laughs> she's sweet. She's so wonderful. I love mommy. I love you, mommy. She cuddles with me. And I like it because it's, it's warm and it's comfortable. When she when we want something, even it doesn't matter how much it is, she always buys it for us. She makes really yummy food. Do you have anything you want to say to mommy? Like, Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah. I love you.